Hi guys, welcome back to Tea on the Couch. If you're new to my channel, you are very welcome. Thank you for stopping by and I hope that you will consider subscribing. Um, my guest today is Sophia Mayers, the author of Curly Kyla. Sophia, you're very welcome to D on the Couch. I am honoured that you could be here. With Thank you today. for having me. Thank you. Okay, so um, before we delve into Curly Kyla, I'm just going to make a little statement about the publishing industry as it stands today. So the publishing industry has often been criticised for its lack of diversity and inclusivity. Publishers do not believe in BAME readership and commerciability. More often than not, BAME authors are having to pay either in part or um, the whole cost of their of publishing their works. In a 2020 study, Rethinking Diversity and in Publishing, award-winning author Alex Whittle, MBE, said in part, we have a wonderful opportunity to address the disparities in the publishing industry and that publishers need to invest in the value of black writing. Do you think, Sophia, this is an accurate observation of the publishing industry? I'm quite new to it, Dee, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Um, so I can only really go from my experience um, and a bit of what I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that writers are slightly underrepresented. Yeah. Um, I do think that there's a lack of... Um, characters within the books that children read um that they can relate to mm -hmm. um that represent themselves right. um and from my experience um i mean luckily enough the publisher i went through um is not your typical publisher that takes royalties and has a, like a publishing house as such mm -hmm. they only really helped me just get my tangible and um digital format of the book done everything else is is down on me yeah, so I'm, I'm almost kind of self-published really and yeah. um, with a bit of assistance from that publishing company mm -hmm. but uh, from what I've seen with them in particular they do have um, a really nice variety of authors a lot mm -hmm. from the BAME community okay. and it might just be researching and trying to find you know um, publishers like you know Conscious Dreams who I've used. Mm -hmm. Okay good. So apart from being an author, what else do you do? So I'm a salon owner. Um, I've worked in the hairdressing industry for many years. I'm not going to mm. give away my age, <laughs> but long enough to be an Whatever expert. Whatever age you are, you're yeah. fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so my hair salon is situated in Surrey, mm -hmm. um, in Camberley. And that particular salon I've had for almost 10 years now. Okay. And we specialise in cater for Afro hair, doing mm -hmm. services, braiding, weaving, um, relaxers, colours, etc. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a really nice speciality in mixed hair textures. Mm -hmm. um, and But we cater for everyone. Right. Um, which not everybody realises. They think, yeah. oh, because it's an Afro salon, they yeah, only yeah, we do, do Afro. Afro. <laughs> when actually we do everything. So we're probably the only inclusive salon in, well in a good radius from where we are okay. um, and I own a training academy as well so we teach um, students we teach um, just you know members of the public or parents mm -hmm. how to manage their kids hair on workshops um, we teach um, staff members in other salons that okay. you know bosses might think oh we want them to be trained in this or mm -hmm. could you come in and do a demonstration on you know curly hair blow dries or something mm -hmm. like that um, and also we teach in colleges, we teach the teachers sometimes. Okay, so well, you've got a good year. <laughs> so now back to Curly Kyla. Yes. Where did the idea come from? So Curly Kyla um, is not a real character, but she might as well be. Mm -hmm. um, was I was inspired from through my work, really. Yes. And I have a lot of young girls. Um, if you don't know what Curly Kyla is about, it's about a young girl with oh, curly yes. hair. Please tell us. <laughs> <laughs> um, who doesn't really like her hair and doesn't feel she's going to fit in um, for her dance um, audition or competition. And without giving it away, she learns how to embrace her hair. Mm -hmm. She builds confidence, self-esteem. And that's what I was trying to kind of try and 
you know, trying to create a book that will inspire, mm -hmm. educate, but also give um, self-worth and confidence to the little girls right. because there's so many that um, come into the salon, used to come into the salon and you just see them there, like mm -hmm. just their heads are down, they don't like their hair. And mm -hmm. the dangerous part of that is sometimes when they don't like their hair, they internalise that dislike right. and not like looking, looking at themselves, themselves yes. you know? And... um how does it feel to know that you have written a book that has impacted young girls the way that I, well, I know that it has? Yeah, that's a really good question because I think that's the main part of what is amazing. Yeah. Everything else, I don't even check to see how many units it's sold or how it's doing, yeah. you know, on that scale. When I get these little girls so grateful mm. and the pictures and the way that they, they hold the book like yeah. it's actually them, <laughs> it feels amazing. It does. Yeah. yeah. I've seen a few reviews. Yeah. Um, there's a little girl, I think she's only seven or eight or yeah. nine, not more than that, who's done a fantastic review of the book. She has. Yes. Miami Ray. That's yeah, that's yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yes. And apart from her, I've seen other little girls that's as well right, yeah. holding, yeah, holding Amira the book. Williams as well. Some amazing, yeah. and again, the books just open doors. Yeah, not saying that I don't meet people or I wouldn't meet people through my academy and the hair salon, but I'm meeting little bloggers, mm -hmm. they're only seven and eight years yeah. old, so inspiring. Yeah, you know, so other authors as well. Yeah. It's just opened an amazing platform, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because it is important. I mean, so back to representation. How important is representation? Um, I mean, it really is. I mean, if you you, you saw the um, review with um, Miami Ray, but Amira Williams did one as well. Um, and she said that she, when she was younger, she cut off her hair mm -hmm. because she didn't like the way it looked, mm -hmm. you know. And she said, this is a, a young girl who is 11 years old now, had she have had a book mm -hmm. like this or more books where she could um just somebody to identify exactly with. um it would have made so much it, of a difference yes. so it's really important and i do urge you know all authors out there who are writing just to keep going it's yeah. amazing and yeah. we're a lot further along now than we were yeah. you know 20 years ago yeah exactly because the thing about representation is you cannot be what you don't see. No, exactly. Exactly, 100%. Yeah. And somebody else said, I do a podcast with my brother on a Wednesday evening. We've, we've stopped for a little while because okay. he's busy um, and so am I. But it was really good. And we had a gentleman on there called, is it Harry Sewell? Harry, Harry Sewell? You might Harry know Sewell. Him. I know Harry Sewell. Yes. Oh, he's yes. such a brain box. <laughs> I've watched a few yeah. of his posts on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just he is, he's amazing. amazing. He isn't is, he? and he's such a good storyteller that yes. when you he starts speaking, you're like, I, know, I just need to I listen. Know. I just need to listen. Yes. So, um, yeah, the point was that he spoke about being raised in Jamaica. Yeah. And everyone that he looked up to were Jamaican. Right. Or black men, should I say. Yes. He was um, politicians and police, and he had this all in his family. And he came to the UK and he's working and somebody made a comment to him, you're not born here, are you? And he was like, no, why can you tell? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, there's an assurity about you that okay. a lot of British born don't, don't have. have. It's almost like over here, there's a cap. Yeah. Or there's, you know, only so far you can yes. see yourself going. Yes. Whereas if you're raised in an environment yeah. where it's just your people that are yeah. achieving all of this stuff, you're like, well, yeah, I can do whatever I want. I, I could be exactly. an astronaut. I could be, you know, a exactly. police officer. You know? And he made a really, really good point. And yes. I thought, yeah, I get that. So back to the representation, um, I, I, that is the key, really. That is the key, yes. I think I need to have Harry... Yeah. On my <laughs> yes, I mean, we need to see more representation in books, you know, in film, in TV. I know you said we've come a long way, yeah. but we're not quite there yet. Yeah. We definitely need to see more positive characters yeah, most rather definitely. than stereotypes, yes, I agree. which we still have a lot of. I agree. That is not an accurate representation no, it's of not. who we are. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so now 
to publishing. How did you find your publisher? Who are your publishers and how did you find them? Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with the complete long story of how mm -hmm. this all started. However, I did write this book in 2016 okay. and it's been sat on a computer. Like there's the a lot, I was going like to say, a manuscript a on lot. Computer. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, this happens to a lot of people. <laughs> so it sat there and it sat there and it sat there and then four years later, lockdown came. Mm -hmm. I was like, amazing <laughs> i've got time now i can do this and i had built some um relationships with people within the industry mm -hmm. prior and i thought great let me reach out so yes. after trying to do a lot by myself and i would warn anybody trying to go into this if you can find and budget the money to get it done properly mm -hmm. just, do, just it. do it don't like don't cut corners no don't cut corners and i i really tried to cut corners <laughs> to start and it was like this is not your forte so yeah. like just don't do it yeah. you're gonna make shambles yeah let somebody who knows what they're doing exactly yeah. um which i did so i went to conscious dreams publishing um mm -hmm. danny blechner and she, um, yeah, literally just turned it around. She mm -hmm. got the book, she got it all laid out. I already mm -hmm. had the illustrations. Um, but again, research your illustrators, your publishers. Um, and Danny's um, Conscious Dreams are not the typical publishers where they, you know, take commission or royalties or um, mm -hmm. want astronomical fees or even okay. some, some publishing companies pay you. Mm-hmm. An advance mm -hmm. yeah. on your book so yeah. what she does is really really simple and it almost leaves you in more of a self-publishing position because you've got your book yeah but you've got to push it yeah and that's yeah. down to you yeah and I think that's what puts a lot of people yeah off, is the fact that after they have their books in their hands yes they then have to go off and do the groundwork yes and that is definitely <laughs> A difficult um, yeah. part of the process however I feel blessed and lucky that excuse me I actually have um, I had a platform before I started mm -hmm. my book yeah. so I'm writing it to an audience I've already got right some people who if I just you know thought I'd all right I'm just gonna write a, a book about reptiles <laughs> I, I don't Who know. Market that's what I, that's what I mean. Those people, but they're so far removed from yeah. me. It's like, how am I going to connect? Whereas yeah. this is something for my audience. Yes, and I think that's what helped have so many pre-sales, yes. pre-orders yes. before yes, I read it about launched. That. Yeah, you sold that's way before yes, it came I out. Think that the helped. Yeah, and I think moving forward, I will write more. Um, but I can just continue to use yeah. my all and ask them what they yeah. want, really. Yeah. You know, I think that was going to be my next question. Yeah. Are you going to write more books? Are yes. there going to be similar types of books? Yes and no. So mm -hmm. I, I think I'm definitely going to write another one that will be similar. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like I might need a moment. I'm Because I'm always so busy with work, I try mm -hmm. my best to take time out for myself. Right. And I might just do like little spa retreats or yeah. just go and stay oh, in a nice hotel self -care. somewhere. Self -care. Exactly. Very important. So when that next <laughs> trip comes up, yeah. um, I'm going to get my um, head into gear and, and just think out of the box a little bit. Right. Um, for something slightly different that might be a little bit more interactive. Okay. Rather than just reading. Okay. And you mentioned a podcast. Yes, do do? so I do a podcast, I, we, we, we did a podcast for about 10 weeks, me and my brother, okay. on Instagram, but actually we do have a new podcast starting on Wednesday, okay. and this one is just about hair. So this one is going to be on my it's about hair. business Your page. No, no, about hair? no, oh, no, no. <laughs> so Are you doing this doesn't... with somebody else? Yes, so, so the else. one I did before with my brother... Uh -huh. It was called Siblings Talk. And Siblings it, Talk. Yeah. And is that finished so we can... You can watch it back on IGTV. Siblings Talk. Siblings Talk on Instagram. So um, you can that's, go on to my brother's page. Um, and What's your brother's Richard page? Blackwood. Um, he's a television presenter and comedian. If you go I know his, that name. Yeah, you recognise him when you see the picture. Richard picked. Blackwood. Yes. Is he an actor? Yes. Yes. He's currently in Hollyoaks. He was in EastEnders. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. East Enders. He was Vincent Hubbard in East yes. Enders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? That's my where is he? Old... He's in Hollyoaks now. I know, but where did he go? <laughs> he left Kim. He yeah, just he did. Left Kim. 
a lot of people really upset and a lot yes. of people ask me like I'm the do you not like, know no. <laughs> <laughs> where is he so <laughs> from I don't yeah, know I'm <laughs> him. Oh, we're getting off topic <laughs> yeah, but yeah Richard Blackwood so yes, I said a tail king yeah <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who knows what your husband <laughs> is <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so, so go so go on stop. yeah, go onto his page and you will see he tends to post them all straight after. Okay. That all started after the George Floyd thing and we just started we just built a platform to yeah. use our um you know, influence use I guess your voice, to help people. Yes. So that you know, you'd love it and they're so funny. Okay. And they're really inclusive, you've got all different races, ages, just it's just it was amazing. We did about okay. ten weeks. It's not finished. We yeah. will do more, but he's okay. busy filming and I'm busy okay. running around. Yeah. But the other one that I've created is going to be on my hairdressing platform. Mm -hmm. So it will be on the Afro Impressions Instagram page. Okay. And that one will be called Hair Talks. And that one will literally be just about hair. Okay. So it will be like a friend of mine um, who I was studying trichology with. She's qualified now. So people who want to know about hair loss or hair breakage or okay. um, what's the best product oh, to yeah. use. Hair I've breakage. Got... I'll come for that. Yeah. <laughs> I've got um, two, three ladies that have their own products. One yeah. has a vegan product. One has so it's bringing all of yeah. us women together. Oh, can I get my cousin to maybe call yeah, you as well. Of course, the one who's made the product. Yeah, yeah of course, that'd be amazing. Can you see that this be is really developed nice by an eleven-year-old. Wow. So I will ask her to. Oh, then, definitely. That's amazing. Yeah, because she couldn't find anything for her hair. Amazing. Then. So she just, uh, oh, definitely just went and did. Send me her contact details, so yeah. I'll and I'll that. touch base with her. Yeah. So Hair Talks will start on Wednesday. It will be every Wednesday at 7. Okay, cool. We'll look forward to that. Um, so what advice would you give to would-be, like, authors who are, you know, kind of procrastinating? Uh, we spoke about procrastination and yeah. it is, it's a bad, it's a bad one. But... I'm guilty of it. The, the only, the, the advice I gave to somebody on, on the podcast the other day is the same advice I'd say here now is mm -hmm. that when you procrastinate, nothing happens. Nothing happens. That's, and, that's and, 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 and that is generally the ultimate outcome. So you have to ask yourself whether you want something to happen or not. Exactly. And sometimes I think we think about, like, for example, we've written a book. And you think about the entirety of getting that book out there. Mm -hmm. And that is what blows your mind. Yeah, because it's, it's a little much. bit daunting. Whereas if you just think about the next step. Yeah. And the step after that. Yeah. <laughs> before, you know, before you know it, you're halfway there. Yeah. And I think that's what it is. It's breaking it down. Yeah. And taking each step at a time rather than thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do the marketing. Yeah. Where am I going to get this from? Is it even yeah. worth it? Are people going to like it? Yeah. Am I you know yeah. so yeah I'd and say. if you believe that you have something good to say something good to put out i agree you know then go for it yep. i think i think it's all to do with you know do you believe in your work yep 100 percent. do and you I... think it's good enough yes and i think that is um evident across the board so my conclusion is the uk publishing industry still needs to be a bit more diverse and more inclusive you know just to reflect the boundless talent yes in the BAME community because it is it is there yep it is there so thank you so much Sophia for thank joining you so much for me having me it's been great you're very welcome it was a very informative um discussion yeah fantastic so thank, thank you, you. And, I'll be checking out your yes. podcast. <laughs> um, if any of you are interested, can you just It will tell be called Hair Talks and it will be on Afro Impressions Instagram. Okay, and that's all that we have for you today. Thank you for joining us. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and pressing the notification bell so you don't miss any of our interesting chats on D on the Couch. I will see you next time. Bye.